This is the third video in the series about short division and in this one I'm going to show you how to divide a three digit number by a two digit number. Okay, here's the first question. 924 divided by 44. So I'm going to make some space for 924 and put the 44 there. So that says 924 divided by 44 or how many 44s go into 924. Okay, first thing I need to do is to see how many times 44 goes into 9. Well, 44 doesn't go into 9, so I'll put a 0 up there. So then I ask myself, does 44 go into 92? Yes, it does go into 92. It goes in 2 times, because 2 lots of 44 is 88. So, that made 88. That means I've got 4 left over to make 92. So I'll use that remainder and I'll put the remainder there. So that has created a little 44 there. And now what I'm going to do is ask myself, right, does 44 go into this 44? Yes, of course it does. It goes in once. So I'll put a 1 up there. And there is my answer, 21. 924 divided by 44 is 21. But let's just check that by doing the inverse operation. Let's do 21 times 44. 44 times 21, and I should get the answer 924. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 1 is also 4. Next line, start with a 0. 4 times 2 is 8, and this 4 times 2 is also 8. We'll add those up. 4 and 0 is 4, 4 and 8 is 12, 8 and 1 is 9, 924. So I got that one correct. Okay, next question. 696 divided by 12. Let's make some space for 696. Put the 12 there. So this says 696 divided by 12. Well, how many 12s go into 696? I've got to ask myself, does it go into 6? No, it doesn't. Does it go into 69? Yes, it does. Five lots of 12 go into 69. So I'll put a 5 up here. What's left over from 60? 9. Okay, so the remainder I'll put there. 9 was left over, so I'll put the 9 there. Now I've got to ask myself, does 12 go into 96? Yes, it does. It goes in 8 times perfectly. So 58 is my answer. 696 divided by 12 is 58. I do need to check that, though, with a multiplication. So I'll do 58 times by 12 and see whether I get 696. 8 times 2 is 16. 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 1 that I was carrying is 11. OK, 0 on the next line. 8 times 1 is 8. 5 times 1 is 5. Let's add those two numbers together. 6 and 0 is 6. 1 and 8 is 9. 1 and 5 is 6. And there's the answer, 696. So I was right all along. Tick. Next question, 510 divided by 15. Make some space for that. OK, 510 divided by 15. Or well, how many 15s go into 510? OK. 15 into 5 doesn't go, so I'll put a 0 up the top. But 15 into 51 does go. It goes in 3 times, so I'll put a 3 up there. 3 times 15 is 45, remainder. Uh, after that, will give me 6. Okay, so 3 times 15 is 45, and then counting up to 51 is 6. Does 15 go into this new number that I've just made, this 60. Does it go into 60? Yes, it does. It goes in four times. So I'll put the four up there. So my answer is, f is 34. 510 divided by 15 is 34. I've got to check that though. 34 times 15. Okay, four times five is 20. Three times five is 15, plus the two that I'm carrying, 17. New line, start with a 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 
3 times 1 is 3. Let's add those up. 0, 11, 5. 510. Good. So I've got that one right. Okay. I don't have much space left, so I'm going to delete some of these objects and, and then carry on. Okay, 650 divided by 25. Here's some space for 650 divided by 25. So that says how many 25s go into 650? Does 25 go into 6? No. Does 25 go into 65? Yes. Two lots of 25 go into 65. Two lots of 25 go into 65, and that makes 50. And there's 15 left over. So I'm going to put all that 15 there next to the 0 to make 150. So does 25 go into 150? Yes, it does. If I count up in 25s, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, that goes in six times. So my answer is 26. Let's check that with a quick multiplication. 26 times 25. 6 times 5 is 30. Six, 2 times 5 is 10, plus the 3 that I was carrying. New line, start with a 0. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 that I'm carrying is 5. Add those up. 0. Five, six. Excellent. So I was right all along. Okay, and that's the end of the series of videos on short multiplication.